Hello, I'm Matt from Mantic. And I am Rich from Goblin. And today we're taking a look at the Kings of War boxes for Northern Alliance Starter Army. Um, we got them both out because we're both playing these two armies against one another in a series, but we wanted to talk to you about what we have made from our boxes. So this video is all about the Northern Alliance. So if you're interested in the Night Stalkers, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, next time. Exactly, next time. <laughs> This is a really good way to get cracking if you're not using the Shadows of the War Box, which actually has two warbands in it for these. Maybe you want a slightly different unit count. This has got Ice Elementals, whereas the other one has uh, Snow Trolls. Yeah. Um, it's a great start if you're just getting a box for yourself, and they're also awesome value. Um, so from this, we have built a force from each one to go against one another. It comes to around, what, the 700 points? Yeah, around range. about, without any artifacts. Um and I've loaded up on spells. So. Yeah, Northern Alliance tends to be quite a costly army from, um, well, maybe it's just my choices. <laughs> but I digress. What I've chosen to do with this box, and this is an interesting one, is start off with the clansmen and just do a troop of 20 of these clansmen. Now you get 30 units in the box, so using minimum model count, you can get, like you, you can have a horde of 30, which would allow you to use a slightly different makeup of troops. Because it's a smaller army box, you normally disregard that unlocking structure. Yeah. So normally, this army, these guys, my pack hunters, wouldn't actually be legal. But in games below a thousand points, you would disregard that. Um, because you'd need another 10 of your clansmen in order to have 30 and then 10 here. Yeah. That said, this was still works fine, and I think this is quite nicely weighted. So I've gone for a, a regiment of pack hun um, clansmen who allow me to unlock, if I was using that rule, the leader or the uh, bolt thrower, because we're doing it you know, with less than a thousand points. I've got them both. Uh, and I've got my troop of pack hunters, and I've got my ice elementals. Um, there's not a huge much more to say than that, other than these little critters who've snuck into the board as well. <laughs> they always seem to be. <laughs> yeah, they don't get mentioned on any of the boxes. Now, these things, people, people are like, they're like gold dust. They're, oh, where yeah. can I get them, where can I get them? <laughs> they're on your pack hunter sprues. Yeah. <laughs> so every sprue of pack hunters, you basically you get ten pack hunters, mm -hmm. and with that you get another sprue with the weapons on, with like the shields or the javelins. Now, the javelins also have the snow foxes on, so you get two per sprue. So in this box, you'll get two, four, six because mm -hmm. you've got one, two, three sprues. For your yeah, we intend to include the swarms on on the sprues for your inventory because then you have them with it and you, you're not looking around. So, because you, usually you're going to have a load of clansmen or a load of a load of throwers, so you're going to have snow foxes as well. Yeah. Which so always helps. It's given me enough to have an actual regiment of snow foxes. Now, I've also got one extra one, which I've managed to pinch. <laughs> um, because the Northern Alliance troops can take a snow fox with them as one of their upgrades. Which is very cute. It is very cute. It gives them an additional attack. <laughs> um, so my Lord, who is leading up the army, has that additional attack on the snow fox. Now, the reason why I've decided to build them like this is because I wanted more ranged troops rather than one block of, obviously they've got a lot of staying power and they're very heavy yeah. hitting. I wanted those ranged troops. So these guys, um, with their javelins, you know, they can move through whatever terrain they want. They've still got their wild charges. Javelins, the upgrade to javelins is more accurate than the bows, and they've got that piercing mm. rule there, so they can do a bit more damage. Um, and it allows me to spread my army out a bit more. Um, always get your snow foxes, because those are going to be so... <laughs> they look awesome, but they're going to be really useful in tying up the enemy units, because they're quick, they're nimble, so they can do multiple pivots. Yeah. Um, and you know, people people are like, oh, you got snow foxes, which is always a nice talking. <laughs> Where about. did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> so you touched on those, like the obviously your ice elementals are new. What are yes. they all about? So the ice elementals are pretty awesome. Um, they are they're a large infantry, aren't they? I believe. Yep. So the snow trolls are monstrous infantry. Mm -hmm. Ice elementals are large infantry. The Northern Alliance have this ability with a lot of their models to apply frozen debuff, I suppose, yeah. to the enemy units. So the bolt thrower can do that as well mm -hmm. um, on a hit, and that reduces the enemy's movement speed down to, well, by one point. It doesn't stack, it just occurs the once. Thank God. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could have a lot of them. So the Ice Kin Hunters, the Master Hunter, for example, when they deal damage, can slow down the troops. What that allows you to do is almost control the board. So your guys who are going to be trying to get in up close and in oh, the yeah. face, I'm ideally going to be either meeting them with my foxes to mm -hmm. slow them down, 
or hitting them with the bolts to slow them down while my guys get within, for example, um, their charge range or their shorter range for the javelins of 12 inch, yeah. because they've got a shorter range than the bows. If I can keep you at a distance or get you where I want you before I charge in with my yeah. crushing strength thunderous. Yeah, it makes, all, it makes all the difference. If you're lowering yeah. the speed, then you're lowering the charge range as well. Exactly. And, and as you said, with, with the thunderous and wild, wild charge, if it stops me procking my wild charge before you can, then yeah. it's going to be absolutely amazing in combat. Well, like the game I played against Rob, for example, if I had had that just that inch difference, <laughs> you wouldn't have been able to get a charge on me. So yeah. it can make all the difference in that and mm. keeping you where you want to be for my anticipation of where I'm going to move yeah. in. Um, but yeah, they they are pretty powerful. They have an, It's an icy breath attack spell that they have. Um, and they also have crushing strength, so they're pretty tough. Which is always good. Anything with crushing strength I like. Yeah, <laughs> so you get you get three of them in the box. Um, obviously I'm going to base two of them, because multi-basing, and I'm going to take this guy for my Vanguard. Because you can do Ice Elementals in Vanguard. Yeah, um, very good. And he's going to be awesome. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about that. Because they're quite big. All the Northern Alliance models, they're quite big, aren't yeah. they? So I don't know anyone that's going to be using full model count. And, and <laughs> with what, what's great about you in Vanguard is you do get that large uh, unit that you get to use. So it's yeah. perfect for that. Yeah, so one of the rules for Northern Alliance in Vanguard is you get to take one additional large unit mm. than you normally would. So I guess technically that means you could run with a, a Snow Troll Prime yeah, and an ice elemental yeah, on a hundred point game. Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> something They're like absolutely that. amazing in that in that smaller scale. So we're looking yeah. forward to that because I'm going to be taking advantage of that in our games because yeah. we've got some games lined up in Vanguard. I feel my caravan would be well protected by you know, <laughs> you know, a um, frost caravan. I'm excited to see how they do. So um, with with them coming in, obviously you can build them in different ways. So yeah. what if you want to touch on that? Yep, so I've built, so the clansmen can be built as clansmen mm -hmm. with, they've got so many heads. What I've tried to do with mine, if you'll notice my pack hunters are all ladies. Oh, like, I didn't yeah. actually notice that. They're all, they're, they're all ladies heads. I love the costumes. I love that they just, you know, that you haven't got the elf nakedness. They yeah. They just look, <laughs> they look hardcore. They yeah. look awesome. So you've got so many different spear, hand grips, angles. Mm. And I think I've got like per sprue, like five different options yeah. left over. Dozens of different shield options. These guys can have bows and arrows, but they, the options they have in the box are spears. Yep. The upgrade is spears um, or javelins rather. Mm -hmm. The regular clansmen, they're sword and board. You have a selection of like bone axes, um, steel swords, and like regular a, axes. A good mix of them. Yeah, got a good mix through. They've got all sorts of different backpacks that they can have. Some of them have got like bones coming out oh. of the back. <laughs> um, some of them have got like little actual car they're carrying things. There's bundles of javelins on the sprue. Mm. There's loads. I've got another one which I'm building in progress to make this a full set of 40. Um, and they've all got like the bundles of javelins on their backs and yeah. stuff. And I like the idea of that because, you know, maybe the clansmen aren't holding the javelins, but why would they not have a bundle of them? Exactly. They seem they seem yeah. to carry everything that they might need for, for yeah. battle. Um, and they're remarkably detailed. And the Northern Alliance to paint them has been really quite simple. Actually, there's a lot of dry brushing involved on the Northern Alliance models. Oh, yeah. um, so my snow trolls are just dry brushed and they yeah. look I think they look fantastic now we've seen a lot of different ways to do it which that was amazing obviously we've got yeah. Duncan our, our graphic designer and layout artist uh, he's really happy really I remember really his full nice. job time <laughs> very proud uh, but yeah he's he's done them sort of darker and more muted but his they, ice queen like, looks a oh, on point God, yeah. I really like his ice queen <laughs> um, so this chap for example was painted up by one of our sponsors um, the painting coach mm -hmm. he's got a tutorial video on this very model on his, his YouTube yeah looks fantastic we're gonna have some close up photos obviously we got there. Yeah, <laughs> he, he does look fantastic. And these guys, there are several tutorials floating around. I'm going to take this board out one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> several tutorials floating around um, on these. I believe uh, Luke's APS does a really good one. Oh, yeah. Of how of the to, channel. Yep. How to paint these very, very fast. Um, basically, just using several different primer cans from different yeah. angles. Um, the frost effects. Like, I was really afraid of these frost effects, and so Lloyd's also done the um, the bolt thrower. Mm. And um, he was like, yeah, it's really easy. This is how you do it. And it's yeah. literally like three steps, <laughs> and the frost effects look ace. Mm. And I've managed to recreate them on my um, uh, slam dunk basketball slam. ice queen. <laughs> she is. She's she has a, got a slam dunk basketball. She's done a switch. <laughs> um, there. And the same with the, the frost wolves. They're just dry brushed to a sort of whitish gray. 
Yeah. Uh, sorry, they're snow foxes. Snow not foxes. Not wolves. No. Um, but yeah, for they one... <laughs> they, they are pretty hoofing big, aren't they? <laughs> they're scary. Yeah. <laughs> but for, for one army box, I think that's awesome. It gives, it gives you a lot of options how you want to play it, especially, yeah. in, and as you pointed out, in, in the book we do recommend that if you're playing a smaller game then you ignore the troop unlock rules, because it lets you have a bit more variety, it lets you have a wider board, which I think is important for yeah. getting used to how flanking works, uh, just how manoeuvring works, so you're not just using, like, yeah. blob. Um, and it, it lets you have a bit more fun and mix it up what you want to use. Yeah, which, we're not which, cheesing um, it by doing this, it's yeah. just below that Pinky thousand promise. points, it doesn't necessarily make <laughs> as much yeah. sense in a game. Um, but yeah, as you get to larger games, you need that, it's it's like the core troops that represent that faction, Yeah, it would make sense that that's the core of their army and then there's sort of mm. attachments to that. Um, so the, the Lord, very inspiring, he's brutal, some of his stats, I have to flick oh, yeah. the page. Um, <laughs> so he's got his Frost Wolf with him, so he's got six, uh, sorry, Snow Fox. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> a tally. Uh, with him giving him six attacks, uh, rather than his five. Crushing Strength two. Which is amazing, on because uh, yeah. he is a, an, an individual, isn't he? He is so. an individual, mighty as well, so he's not afraid of anything. <laughs> very inspiring, and Wild Charge. Um, and he has other options too. He can have a, an aura which gives wild charge to heavy yeah. infantry and regular infantry. So if you have the uh, Herskulls, the big heavy troops mm. and bigger armies, they can also then have a wild charge. Which is just going to help so you get in there. This, the, the whole Northern Alliance army, it, it's just a bunch of angry, screaming <laughs> Vikings, isn't it? Just yeah. charging at you. We do, we do love the, uh, <laughs> the aspect of them. They, they are mad. Yeah. Uh, and they definitely look like they've been in the, the wild waste for a while. <laughs> they look like, they're like, what are you doing yeah. <laughs> in our tundra? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. he's just ace. Um, that, that's basically all of his, his uh, rules. And then, yeah, the, the bolt thrower has that frost um, free ability to apply frozen as well. Um, it's got a huge range. Yeah, which is which is ideally what you want to be doing with with your uh, with your war engines, um, and especially if you've got that ice tipped, then from a massive range, you're then placing that debuff on them, and you can place that just completely out of the way because you know if someone steps out of line, then you yeah. can launch an ice bolt at them and well, put them in their place. It's for for a bolt throwing device, it's surprisingly accurate and dangerous yeah. as well, and it's got blast. Blast is incredible. So it it hits essentially multiple times. Yes. Um, so the likelihood of you scoring that one point of damage mm. needed to freeze somebody is if you hit with it, then you're more than likely gonna yeah. do that. Um, so it's pretty powerful. It does have reload though, so it is it is quite vulnerable. Yeah, um, you're not really gonna be shuffling it around if you've put it in a bad spot or if yeah. the enemy predicts where you want it to fire on. Um, yeah. But so, I mean, it, it it works out with elite on it. You're gonna yeah. be you are is surprisingly accurate. And I do have a second one, so I'm basically just gonna have a cross across yeah. the board. So you, you're not gonna be able to get away from them. Um, I'm giving away my tactics here, but that's fine. I'm, I'm just gonna be writing them down over here. <laughs> but um, but that that's the entirety of the box. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really looking forward to getting some more of the elves in. So the yeah. and the nades. So you've got the berserkers and mm. the icekin um, in as I, as we grow this. So I think. A couple more clansmen for me uh, to build this out for the ability to have a, just a solid chunk in the yeah. middle. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to rely sort of on the ice kin hunters mm -hmm. um, and the heavy thegans and, and yeah. plenty. I, I want several pack hunter troops. Just yeah, I'm especially if you're because you're, you, you're kind of going for a nice tipped centric yeah. thing, slow everything down so you can maneuver, which sounds amazing and I'm really scared, but uh, <laughs> it's it seems like a good way to go and obviously building upon the uh, the starter set, um, then it's it's going to be, you can build upon and have a lot of options. Yeah, I think this is a really nice varied set, especially yeah. when you throw in the, the wolves, uh, the, yeah. the foxes. You dip your toes in with everything, so, you've got your hero, your war engines, yeah. Your, your large infantry, uh, your swarms, so you, you get to sort of play with everything, see what you really like, because I know yeah. there's some people that they, they sort of centre towards uh, other stuff, whether it is, like, they, they use a lot of war engines and, yeah. and stuff, which, which can really work. Which will be interesting. I, I can see myself building out the elementals, mm -hmm. Ice Queen is going to be in there as a hero, Yeah. bolt throwers, and you're just going to be dealing with a lot of stuff tying you up Yeah. for me, um, which I feel plays to how the I feel the army 
is. Yeah. They're very, it's like snow guerrilla warfare. Yeah, <laughs> it, and, and then the worrying thing is when I finally get to you, you're still actually going to be doing well, so. <laughs> yeah. I anticipate these guys being able to stick around for quite a while. Yeah, from experience, uh, I know playing with Elvis, they do stick around a lot, uh, and, and so it, it'll be interesting to see what you do with them. Yeah, yeah. well. <laughs> I, I'm probably going to surprise myself too. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is the box for the Northern Alliance of the just the starter army, basically. Yeah. The simple army. There is a um, there is the two set, obviously, which mm -hmm. gives you slightly fewer. Um, actually, you still get forty clansmen. Yeah. It's an awesome box. Yeah, you still got a lot to play with, which yeah. is fantastic. And then there's the mega army box, which gives you about a thousand snow trolls. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> they do not die. Yeah. <laughs> which we will look at eventually yeah. in the future as well. But for now, that is how I have built my Northern Alliance army from this mm -hmm. box. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing that, and I'd be quite keen to hear how you've set yours up and whether my tactic is actually going to work. Can I win through snaring and, and, and tying you up? Don't give him any tips. Uh, I might just rubbish, need to invest in a giant just to walk behind you. <laughs> That's how I lost to Rob. Yeah. I didn't get a giant in that game, or did I?